Holmes Worm Hat. This is a really just like a quick preliminary video. I want to keep it quick. Wait a Could I just. There. What, um. What even is that aspect ratio? If I didn't know any better, I would swear you people do this crap to irritate me and waste the five seconds it takes to fix, giving me fractionally less time to make my somehow less shitty video. Oh dears. But no, I'm pretty sure you're actually magically incompetent, to the point where you manage to invent arbitrary resolutions that man nor beast has ever seen before. Oh look, sick. Banging on about presentation for the zillionth video in a row. Well, I'll stop when they start making decent content. Could someone just make some free software that just just automatically makes tolerable video for free and easy so we can finally get past this garbage and on to the good garbage? Anyway, fixed. You're welcome, etc, etc. Because this is just stuff that I've been thinking about. It's stuff that... Um, but people have asked me to do videos about this before in the past. Ooh, a requested topic. So whatever this is, you know multiple people believe it. Let's all just hope it's not ridiculously stupid. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's definitely going to be so dumb, I'll be falling down randomly all week. So um, I may as well, I'll just tell you what I personally believe now. I'll, I'll do a lot of that. Like, I'm, I'm not going to spend a ton of time trying to prove everything that has led me to these conclusions. Wait, a conspiratard not proving something? What a surprising turn of events. That's like a cow producing some sort of white consumable liquid. Never ever going to happen. So this video is just kind of very broad in what I currently think. You think? Already starting with the ridiculous claims now, are we? Uh, I'll do a little bit of research. You'll see. I'll just do the video and then you'll know what it is. Research? Sure that isn't code for confirmation bias? Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2, King James. Wherein, uh, wherein time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Ah! Great start on that research, buddy. Multi-thousand-year-old books are known for their merit as technical documents of the highest caliber. That would be a good name to call these creatures the children of disobedience. Oh, I am disobedient, but I'm hardly a child. In fact, I'm pretty sure this shit is aging me at a rate of knots. I'll be centuries old by the time you get to your frigging point. Um, they're liars. They're deceivers. Uh, so I do believe that they collect electricity just out of the atmosphere. God damn it! <sighs> I freaking called it, didn't I? I think it, that's how they collect it. And I think it's really easy. Um, much easier than they, they explain. I think power plants are fake. So, wow. Let's just take a minute and mourn the 17 brain cells we all just lost. We hardly knew ye. So you think that electricity is just collected out of the atmosphere, that the process for that is really easy, and that power plants are fake. And what exactly is their true purpose then? So we'll start with that. I think power plants are Hollywood BS. It's just props. I think that you're getting props, mostly. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. I need to put down a mattress or something. They're just props. Are they just there to pretend that power is created by burning fossil fuels or new nuclear fission? They even fill it with all this functional equipment that actually produces power like the sticklers for detail they are. It's almost like this really is how they produce power and somehow the magic machines that pull energy out of the air at a constant useful rate don't exist. But <laughs> that of course would be crazy. Maybe some of them kind of work. So here's the, uh, with all, what percentage truth, what percentage fakeness. You does English the good like what me do, thankings, dog. Uh, I personally think that dams are mostly there to make a lake. Um, the hydroelectric is probably a cover. Dams are just there to make a lake. Okay. And what is the lake for? Why is the dam itself full of turbines that produce electricity anyway for apparently no reason? 
I would ask you for evidence on how you know that these things are fake, but funnily enough... I'm, I'm not going to spend a ton of time trying to prove everything that has led me to these conclusions. Yeah, we both know by that what you actually meant was you aren't going to prove anything that you think. You're just going to state it as a fact, and your idiot followers are going to nod their little heads or disagree with you with something equally, if not more, ludicrous. It may not work. It may barely work. It, it, so that, the thing is, is that if hydroelectricity is a thing, it could very well be a thing. Solar very could well be a thing. Like wind power. But I think they all just suck. And I think that... You think they suck? Why? You can't just tell me that something sucks and not be able to explain why it sucks. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume you have no idea how it works and are simply talking out of your backside. Um, all of our electricity, if you're watching this, you're, you, however you're watching my video right now, I guarantee to you that the electricity that is allowing you to do that originated in the atmosphere. Bollocks. And I'll tell you for why. You said it was easy to harness the atmosphere electricity. So why, oh why, oh why, aren't you doing it? Like right now, in this video even. Or at least showing us how we could do it. Because let's be fair, if the Illuminati are going to let you talk this shit, they aren't going to care if you tell us how to do this shit. You won't, because you're absolutely full of said excrement. I'm, I'm not going to spend a ton of time trying to prove everything that has led me to these conclusions. That's my belief. And uh, so I think these power plants, I don't know, I think it's just a trick. And yet you can't explain that trick in any way, shape or form. Interesting. Like me, look at the Masonic tiles right there. Boom, just found it. I didn't see that before, but now I just found it. Oh my god, you, you actually just Illuminati confirmed, didn't you? I... I had no idea. I thought it was a joke, but there you are. Herder found the secret symbols. How do you not see what an absolute parody of human thought this whole deal is? Uh, <laughs> look, the Masonic tiles right there. So it's Hollywood. You're getting Hollywood. Oh, look at the control panel, guys. They have a control panel. So uh, there you have it. It's fake because they have control panels. Well, I'm convinced. Man, look at these fake cars with their steering wheels. We all know they are moved with your legs, Flintstone styles. Bloody children of deception, TM. Just because you have control panels and claim that your stuff worked. 33. Look, I'm not even like looking for stuff. So it's going to be coded. And just because you don't know how something works, possibly because you have the intellect of a dead gnat, doesn't mean that it's fake. Also, that says 3300, not 33, so do please learn how to numbers. And even if it was supposed to be the hidden numbers, you buggers have still yet to adequately explain why the powers that be would put clues everywhere. They are a shadowy government organisation, not the cocking Riddler. The little bit of research I'll do in this video, because like I said, I want to keep it short. I want to just tell you my current beliefs right now. So here, what if I, let's just look at all the power stations in Nevada. Right, let's, let's see how quickly your research falls apart from the slightest scrutiny. That, or you'll totally convince me with your rock solid deduction skills. <laughs> right, Nevada clearly, you need power plants, right? Allegedly. Allegedly, there should be power plants ever. Allegedly, there should at least be whatever device it is to transfer power from the atmosphere to the electric grid. Or does it just do that by itself? And if it does, why aren't we all being electrocuted to death? When, so I'll just say, when, when have you ever seen a power plant? They're, n they're nowhere. Oh my god, you dense prat. They are placed well away from residential and even business areas because they release a shit ton of pollution and are generally fugly and don't need to be nearby because electricity travels along wires. So you just need that set up and it'll travel where you need it to. How are you this thick and able to make noises from your face other than... <laughs> You know, if, if anyone's going to go see a power plant, they have to, like, seek it out. Look at this. And that means they don't exist? Holy crap, how many stairs did you fall down as a child? 116. That's 911. 
Okay, yeah, anything can be tangentially connected to anything if you are looking hard enough. Doesn't mean it means a damn thing. Human brains are pattern seeking. Just because you see a cloud that looks like Elvis Presley does not mean that he's secretly living on a moon base, waiting to return and seduce all our whammins. Upside down. 44. So they pick coded locations too a lot of times. Sure they do, buddy. And they are sending you radio signals through your feelings, telling you to eat the babies. Uh, I'm, we're going to look at a couple power plants. So look, look at the Wikipedia article on this power station. It's a joke. You can tell it's fake because there's nothing here. If this was a real power station. So you don't know how Wikipedia works either. People have to actually be interested in the thing before you get in-depth articles. You think that one's sparse? Look at this. The PS1 racing game Motorhead. That article's basically empty. Emptier than your example, uh, but not quite as empty as your head, mind. But that exists. I've played it. It was unremarkable, and no one gives a shit about that game. So no one filled in the article. Yet many people will have worked on it, and a publishing house will have made it available, using lots of people to sell it to other people. And not even they could be asked to fill in the article. With specific power plants, there's even less reason to go into details, because the most interesting thing about a power plant is never where it's built. The interesting thing about power stations is how they pigging work. And would you look at that? There's a big old wiki on that topic. So by your own admission, it must be real, because that's how logic works, apparently. And lastly, and, and this has really pissed me off about this stupid, stupid, I hesitate to call it an idea, but for want of a better word, although fartsplosion comes to mind, might be a good one, come to think about it. So the most annoying thing about this fartsplosion of yours is why would they go to the effort of building this fake power station and all its highly detailed fake panels and it would obviously have to be fake staffed at all times in case some random Johnny just broke in and yet only write a few words in the wiki. If 200 IQ geniuses like you could come along and prove them fake by fartsploding onto the internet. Seems like a bit of a massive oversight, don't you think? Or perhaps they are just too busy making sure all the clues are around so you have something to do with your time because you are clearly unemployable. Uh, if power was really, there would be more information. But look at, here's, <laughs> I just noticed this. I'm getting some just great, look, they show you right here. See how they, they give the power lines? What is this really a picture of? It's a picture of the power lines. That's where they make the power, in the power lines. You think that power is generated via power lines alone. <sighs> I think I need to sit down. That is, by far, the dumbest thing I have ever heard this week. Dude, go buy some wire, stretch it across your garden or a local field, or something, and generate some free power. Do it. Please. Prove me wrong. I would love, love, love you to prove me wrong. And it turn out that we actually have this abundant source of power. But I'm not going to count on it. Even if it just so happened to be true, I would want to know why would they need to lie. Because if it's for the money, they may have been better off not building these multi-trillion dollar setups and just tell the truth. Because even then, they would still need to charge money for infrastructure and maintenance. Just not have all the costs of maintaining these fake power stations. So I don't know if I already said that, but that's, that's what I believe. The power line is what generates the power. This is just a BS fake. They just build a concrete, a couple concrete things. They, uh, they boil some water sometimes and they tell people, oh, that's a power plant. No, but look at this image. What is this really an image of? This is an image of your argument in its entirety. A blurry mess of things you don't understand in a place you will never go because you are too stupid, too lazy, and too intellectually dishonest to admit that you are absolutely full 
of fart explosion. Ah!